everyone. We're out at Time to Ride. Yep. Um, came out here to meet up with my brother, and I am going to have to call him out because he was a no-show. That's right. I couldn't believe it, but... Apparently he drank too much, a little bit too much, I should say, the night before, and he decided he didn't want to come out, I don't know, too far, too hot, didn't want to eat my dust, I don't know, whatever. So, maybe next time. I'm going to dedicate this video to you, bro, and uh, check it out, you'll see what you missed. Uh, pretty awesome place out here at Time to Ride. You can see they've got some obstacles, and John, the owner, he just, he, he really, really maintains this property well. Um, it's one-way track. It's just a little over six miles. Hey, you know, it's not the biggest, but hey, six miles is close to like a lap at a cross-country race, so pretty good for practice. Um, nothing too extreme, even the red lines here aren't too bad. Um, all, everything's pretty doable, um, so it's relatively fast. Super dry in Texas, we haven't had rain, much rain this month. We had a great year of rain, but not much this month. So, it's a little dry out here, but uh, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, at least it's not too hard packed. Uh, it's chewed up a little bit and just a great place to ride. Really, really like time to ride. And John, you've done such a great job putting this together. It's a really fun place for all different riding levels. And yeah, time to ride. So I thought I'd just do a video of pretty much the full six plus miles loop. Uh, I rode about uh, 20 miles this day um, still you know in recovery from the knee injury and um, you know just kind of working myself back up trying to get back in shape and uh, I was certainly pretty freaking sore from a good 20 mile ride uh, you know you always feel it the next day or two after and I definitely felt it after this but a lot of fun again it's just kind of a six little over six mile loop and it's fast it's fun it's got three water crossings which all of them have pretty rocky solid kind of shale rock bottoms and they get incredibly slick uh, the first lap I actually fell in at one of the crossings bike slid out from underneath me and unfortunately I didn't have my video on I don't know if it was just because I'm not riding with anybody and generally I, I like to get video of everybody else riding not necessarily myself but anyway this video is a little different a little it's a little long you know 17 plus minute video but uh, I thought it'd serve a purpose for showing the track um, for anyone in my area that hasn't been out here, wants to come out, check it out, support John, that'd be great. And um, yeah, for my brother who missed it, he's never been out here, he would have loved this place. So that's what the video is all about today. We're just kind of doing the six mile loop. And yeah, I'll shut up for a minute, you can check out some of the track, and uh, yeah, check it out. Time to ride. Walnut Springs, Texas.
some of the awesome other amenities that's out here at Time to Ride is they do have a bunkhouse, uh, which is really nice. It's got a couple of bunk beds in it and provides, uh, you know, refrigerator, microwave, linens, all that stuff. Super affordable. I think it's 45 bucks a night uh, with a two-night minimum. So perfect if you want to go out and spend the weekend, uh, get out of the AC and take a shower and all that kind of stuff. They also have camping. Um, so you camp on the property. Uh, beautiful live oak trees at the entrance. Um, so even on hot days, you can basically uh, hang out under the trees. They've got picnic tables there. Uh, you know, real comfortable. Uh, this morning I got out here, it was in the mid-70s, uh, which was really, really nice. Uh, ended up being 96 uh, this day. But uh, it was beautiful getting out there in the morning and even at 12 or 1 o'clock when it was really heating up, uh, chilling out under these big giant live oak trees with the breeze was just awesome, super comfortable. And of course, you know, with the water, uh, the property basically, the trails run up and down alongside of the creek, a good part of them. And some of them go out into the pastures, as you can see, uh, in some of the other clips. And, uh, you know, so they're swimming. I mean, you know, like falling in was awesome. <laughs> I got soaking wet, and even though my boots filled up, um, just, you know, felt like freaking air conditioning, uh, which was <laughs> pretty awesome. So, again, swimming, and I guess, you know, fishing. There's fish in the river, and or creek I should call it but either way um, yeah uh, there's lots of stuff to do real nice place to chill out and I will put a link in the description for time to ride anyone's interested in looking it up or learning more about the place and yeah so again I'll shut up and let y'all check out some more of the six mile loop and yeah, good times. Time to ride. So right here is the second creek crossing and definitely the nastiest. You can see that rock under the water. That is incredibly slimy and slick and yeah, if you don't go over with a little momentum, throttle completely off and keep that wheel perfectly straight, you're definitely going in. 
I've seen it happen to many, many people, including myself early this morning of this ride. So not hard to do, but you just got to kind of get used to it. This is the beginning of what they call the MX section. I don't know so much about that, but uh, I guess it's a little faster and a little more, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't seem MX to me, but uh, it's at the end of the property and um, you can hook through here pretty fast. I guess they've got a few subtle berms and whatnot, maybe. Yeah, I don't know, not very MX to me, but a uh, lot of fun. Uh, you can really hook it pretty fast through this section. You can see a couple little whoops there, and yeah, a couple berms here and there, and yeah. I don't know about MX, but that's what they call it, and hey, it's pretty fun back here. This is the third creek crossing area, so uh, probably the deepest of all of them, but uh, and just as slick. You can see those little rock shelves under there just as I was entering, and you got to be uh, careful not to putt too slow across there, too. You can definitely uh, wash out, and yeah get a little wet right there but yeah uh, that's it those are the three crossings not too big of a deal um, a lot of fun especially in the summer versus the winter <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, summertime falling in is one thing uh, falling in and freezing temperatures is a whole nother thing so anyway we're just about to the end of this loop and yeah it's been a good ride um you know over the last four years or so since i've got back into riding you know i've done a lot of racing and you know i think probably taking this whole dirt bike thing a bit too serious so i guess what i've really come to learn after this time in transitioning over to dirt bikes is i got into this initially to have fun and uh you know when you're chasing points and racing all the time and worried about missing races or not i don't know to me it just kind of took the fun out of it so i will continue to race cross country race here and there and some vintage racing i'm old yz 76 yz 400 but uh, for the most part, I'm refocusing my efforts on some good, clean fun. And riding, hanging out with people. You know, today uh, is a very rare day I'm not riding with somebody. But, you know, still having an amazing time. Uh, this is a, isn't such a big place that if you're riding with someone and they're not riding with people and get hurt, it's a big deal. You know, here you can almost crawl your way out of here it's not that big so anyway that's the lessons i've been learning recently and 
Yep, that's about it. Uh, old guy Moto freaking here. I'm going to sign out and appreciate you watching. Ride hard, have fun, and I will catch you next time. Signing out, old guy Moto freaking. Yeah. Mm -hmm.